I got my partner in crime here today. We call him Cap. That's Willie Taggart. He is the modern day gypsy. You ever met somebody that can walk into the woods, leave with a bunch of sticks, create something crazy with them, and sell them to those rich people up in New Glarus for like 200, 300 bucks a pop? He's the guy. What's up, everybody? We're on the set of 61st Street. Me and my boy Kamal. All done for the day. Walking back to the trailers. Today's episode's about my buddy Will and I. We're going to Lake Carroll. We're going to do some dock fishing. We're going to catch some fish. And we're going to have some fun as always. Wait, come on. Where are we going again? Lake Carroll. That's right. That's right. Now, I got a question for y'all. When's the last time you been fishing? So it's been far too long since I've been fishing with the gypsy. I asked him how many poles you bring, and he said all of them. Think I brought them for it? <laughs> kind of quick. Don't you ever ask me that again? They're gonna get good. Yeah, here we go. Here's the lake. Hey, hey. see, I told you he's a gypsy. What do you got there, Kev? This is a poncho. All right. We don't need no big boat to catch some fish. You don't need no sponsor. Sometimes you just gotta walk a ways to get out to the half a mile. Half a mile. Yep. Right down the peninsula. We just saw a bunch of gizzard shad. Will thought they were crappies, but he's blind. We'll be, we'll be fishing for them if we don't catch anything. <laughs> yeah, next thing you know, we're going to be the best gizzard shad catchers you've ever seen. Let's go. Ring-tailed paddle. What, what, what exactly is a ring-tailed oh, paddle? Walleyes, it's a search bait. Oh, oh, it's a bait. I yeah. get it. See, the idea behind fishing in this spot, if you look out there, this is a big bay. It goes out to the lake. Way out there. Way out there. The idea being this spot is that's a long peninsula right there. It goes all the way back to the parking lot, way back there. And it creates a structure that comes all the way out here because it gets down probably like 10, 12 feet deep right out there. A lot of times those fish will come up here and they'll stay by these boats and the peninsula and all the rocks because they like to get some cover from all the other stuff. So we'll see what happens. Okay. All right, so fishing for all eyes, right? Calls out this lightweight, Ooh. this lightweight rod. And it dove immediately because this big old carp with a tuxedo on kind of wanted to come and say hi to us. Get him, Ben. Oh, there man. we go. Look at the size of that, baby. Oh, that's a nice one. Hold it, hold it up, man. Let me see. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that, baby. Oh, they don't. Bounce jig head. Oh yeah. With a lychee. There we go. On a bobber. Yeah. Uh, some people say bobbers are just for kids. Uh, look at them. There's a lot. There's a. Lots to say about bobber fishing, man. All right. It's just plain fun. Good job, Skip. Let's see that, huh? Yeah, When's the last time yeah, you've been yeah. fishing, huh? Yeah. Woohoo! Telling you, there's something about bobber fishing. Like, look out there. The anticipation. You don't know what's going to bite them. You can try and prepare and make yourself ready. But you never know what's gonna bite them. You gotta try different depths too. If something's not biting on your on your line at a certain depth that you set your bobber at, change it. Shorter, higher. Just keep going. Something's gonna bite it. We're what's cooking. Up? What's up, everybody? Here we go. Not walleye, but we're catching some fish, right, Cap? Yup. Not a bass. Not a bad one. Oh, 15 oh, that's inches, a nice 16 one. inches, right? Yep. Caught them out there in the muck. So we know there's fish in here, we uh, just gotta find the right ones. On a leech? On a leech. A leech with a white, white and pink jig head there. There we go. They're out there swimming around. Uh, nice little fish, right? Eh? Little Lake Carol but Porker. But you ain't what I'm looking for, you little chunk. Yeah. Let's well. find some, let's find some walleyes, Cap. What do you say? I'm, I'm hip. Let's do it. Whoop. All right, you hear this sound, you know you got a fish on. You hear that reeling? That is another largemouth bass on a DeCinco. Otherwise known as a wacky worm. Okay, let me get this bad boy in and I'll show you what it looks like. Here we go. Somebody should tell these fish that when Ben Martin's around, they need to go run and hide. Sometimes you just gotta sit on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. <laughs> you wouldn't know it, you wouldn't believe it, but this guy, one of the best football players you ever done seen. Yeah. Willie T. All right, so, are you going to tell us a story about the dandelions? Well, the dandelion came here with the Chinese immigrants who made the railroad so we could uh, have railroads in the United States. 
Oh, that's okay. We saw it, Kev. Yeah. That's okay, Kev. Yeah. We saw it, Kev. Nobody on the camera is ever going to believe you, though. Better watch a bolt. Better man. watch a bolt. Is it? Okay, so you saw what just happened there. My buddy, the modern day gypsy over here, he lost him. That smallie, whoa, it's probably 16, 17, 18 inch smallie? Yeah, I'd say he was at least 17. 17? And he's fishing on that little pole. That's so much fun to catch with that little pole like that. Ultralight, yeah. Ultralight, but the problem is, those smallies, they go crazy. And they get... Oh, did he? He got up underneath the dock and he shredded. You gotta be careful with those. That line, man, that line can get rubbed off by its little little teeth. It can get rubbed off by the dock, but... We gonna catch his daddy now. Woohoo! All right, you didn't even know you had that on there, Kevin. This is Kev. a different pole right here. Yeah, he, yeah he, he was sitting there reeling that in. He was getting ready to cast it out again. That's what we do. We just catch fish. Look at that guy. Woohoo! Oh, his jaws are all jacked up. Yeah, he heard him. All right, let me ask you something. Do you ever realize how lucky you are because your wife said, yeah, go ahead, go down the lake, go fishing with Will today? Yeah. Man! Lucky. Lucky. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh, I feel a little tap, 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 tap -aroo. Who's going to catch one first, me or Will? Post your guesses at the bottom. And then I'll check them later. Whoever guesses correctly wins a nice picture of me smiling at you. That's right. One of these days, I'm gonna get one of those billboards. Well, what the freak, Brian? Eh, no, no, I'm gonna get me a billboard, and it's just gonna be a big picture of me with my thumb up, going, "You're welcome." <laughs> it's one thing every fisherman needs to get better at and needs to learn how to do. And that's know when to quit. He said 3.30. He quits when he's hungry. You hungry? Yeah, buddy. It's time for gravy! Woohoo! Old Cap, the old Uptown girl, look at him. We came, we saw, we kicked some bass. We kicked some bass. Get it? Before I forget, I gotta let you know. You what? You I said whoever catches the first fish, and you guys, you know, put it at the bottom and decide who, and uh, you win a nice, good picture of me. Well, nobody wins a nice, good picture of me because we didn't catch anything after that. So there. Yeah, curse us. Ah. Juju. Ah.